Welcome to the Apocalypse. But this is an example of one of the uh, the factions in the game. This is a light bearer, which are a faction that basically believe the Shiva virus that killed everyone. The mutations that it brought on are a possible path to enlightenment. They uh, are very big on the idea that you know, everyone can reach enlightenment if they try, but mutants are probably going to be better at it. There are light bearers who believe that they should just kill off all the non human, all the non mutant humans, and get them out of the way because they're holding everybody back. Uh, basically, they are one of the six factions players can join. Each of those six factions has sort of like a good guy aspect, and these guys, it's the helping people reach enlightenment and healing people and doing good works, and the not-so-good element is let's kill all those normal humans because, you know, they're, they're just getting in the way. Uh, the guys we're seeing in here are actually members of another faction called the Enforcers. Uh, they are sort of the remains of the military from before the fall. They uh, are very much about law and order, restoring the old world, uh, rebuilding, and uh, they're big into guns and armor and discipline and organization. Uh, each of these factions has uh, allied factions that are that basically work with it. For example, the enforcers and the light bearers work together because you know one group's about enlightenment and, and serenity, and the other group's about bringing law and order. Those are compatible, but you also each faction also has factions that it does not work with. For example, the arch enemy of the enforcers are a group called the Choda or the Children of the Apocalypse. They uh, are all about anarchy and you know tearing down the remains of the old world. They don't want to have any law and order. Uh, here, his task is in the tutorial is to use this ability called Stanch Wound to bind the, bind the injuries of these wounded soldiers. And so basically we're teaching players the basics of here's how you use special abilities, uh, use special attacks, things of that nature. So uh, you know, when they get out into the world, they know how to do all this stuff. So you've got to heal these two guys up, so in a minute when you get into a fight, they can actually hop up and help you. So we've got the toolbars, pretty much the... Uh, sort of you know industry standard uh, you can drag out the toolbar to expand the number of slots in it only one through ten will correspond with a numerical key but you can basically give yourself as many slots as you want uh, you can drag it around all the UI elements are movable and also they can be made transparent uh, so if you you know want to have a window up but you don't really want to have it blocking your view as much you can right click on it and uh, make basically the window transparent and uh, makes it easier to, to have more stuff up on, on your screen but uh, he's basically healed the two enforcers, so he can talk to the enforcer commander again, finish that mission out. Uh, in the game, basically, we use missions uh, as... Well, we have about 6,000-ish missions players can find in the game, spread about three sectors of gameplay with 70 towns, so they have a huge amount of content. These missions range from, you know, basic find me some items, go talk to this guy, to we've got all kinds of... Uh, our, my favorite type is the, the raid mission, where a bunch of NPCs will spawn to help you go attack an enemy camp, uh, so I mean, we've got a lot of uh, we've got basically got a lot of different missions in the game, a lot of different types of missions. We have about 25 different mission types at this point uh, that we can run players through, and through using tricks like chaining them together or giving them from different NPCs, we can create the, a very wide variety of experiences. The uh, green gas you see there is basically the the sort of the meta tag for hey, you can loot me. We uh, and so it's a basically you just. Loot people take all their gear. You can't loot other players in our PvP system. Uh, we just figured that would be... A, we want to have a PvP system that uh, really encourages uh, people to take part without being punitive, or too punitive, I should say, uh, because you need to have a certain critical mass of people in PvP for it to be fun, so they don't want people to feel like, oh, I don't want to get into PvP because I'm going to lose all my shit. So we want people to uh, you know, really, really get involved in it. But uh, he's going to head up some say, up this elevator in a minute. You can go. You, we'll see some of the uh, the mutant critters we've got in the game. But uh, uh, backing up to PVP real quick, since we're on an elevator, uh, all of our PVP is zone based. If you're walking around the world and you get near a PVP zone, a little symbol, a uh, well, uh, message pops up saying, "Hey, you're about to enter a PVP zone. If you keep walking, you go into the PVP zone. If you don't, if and you'll you can be shot by anybody." If you don't, you, you, if you stay out of the PvP zone, no one can attack you. So it's very much uh, consensual PvP. If you don't want to PvP, don't go in the zone. But if you go in the zone, you are open ground for anybody. There's no faction limitation on who you can shoot. You can shoot anyone you want. So you really have to check your targets to make sure you're shooting the guys you want to be shooting. Otherwise, you could lose faction points, things of that nature. Uh, so it, anytime you die in a PvP zone, you do resurrect in safe territory in a life net pod. So you can't really be griefed more than once without letting yourself, you know, without uh, basically, somebody kills you once, you can get away. You can, you can always get away from them. And, you know, if you go back and get killed again, well, you went back. 
So that's your fault. Uh, when you die, you get a debuff on you. Initially, it's just an XP debuff, but eventually it uh, will become a physical debuff if you die enough times in quick succession.